Alright, and we're back to the Grand Order. Um, next 10th floor of the this event. Let's go. A living statue. Well, obviously, kinda. <laughs> Ooh. We're here, a hobby shop. Hmm. It's a little more elegant in here than I'd imagined. But the important thing is, they've got the goods I want. So, the Kodomo gloves are coming off. I'm gonna search every nook and cranny of this store for what I want, and I'm not even gonna look at the price tags. Oh man, they really do have a ton of great stuff here. I don't know what to look at first. Just in case a bit went a bit quickly. Hmm. Seems like they've got something for pretty much everyone. Exactly. This is still a general purpose variety store. Just imagine what we might find at a specialty shop. Akihabara is turning out to be everything I dreamed of, and then some. Hmm. She's staring at those superhero fingers really intently. I see you are quite taken with those. Is that Okita Alter in the background? Does this mean the modern world models interest even a statue from the very age of gods like yourself? They do. We may have come from different time periods, but the act of creating three-dimensional art by hand remains unchanged. I find both the method of these models' construction and their underlying concepts fascinating. These dolls' bodies seem to pulse with energy almost as if they were flesh and blood. I can feel their determination to defeat their enemies. They must have been made as offerings to Ares, or Athena. Eh, uh, kinda? Of. I don't think that was the intent. No. I am also tremendously impressed at how this maker was able to make so many identical copies. <laughs> she doesn't know about factories. Whoever this person is, they deserve the highest praise. Very highest. Um, uh, that praise is probably better directed at the industrial methods Edison helped pioneer than an individual maker. Though I guess it is true that a skilled modular had to make the original in the first place. <laughs> Even in the modern world, there are people creating magnificent works of art. Even I, ancient sculpture, read human, can sense its sheer quality. It's a very strange sensation, but not an unpleasant one. Mm, that's the entire purpose of art. Good things there are good. good things are good, regardless of the time or forms assumed. Indeed, I feel the same about today's pop music. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Huh? I just heard it too. What's going on over there? All right, folks. Today's your last chance to sign up for your our model building contest. Don't worry, the comers are still welcome to join, and you're free to make any kind of model you like. Pra practice model, trash sculptures, dolls, marionettes, any three-dimensional forms are okay as long as you're proud of them. And what's more, today's judging will be conducted live and in person. Looks like the top prize winners get a bunch of special points. Oh ho! Then we cannot pass up this chance. We must collect enough points to become high level wishmen as soon as possible, after all. Now, how can we go about winning this event? Hmm. So, the store is holding a contest to see who can make the finest model? Then I'll do my best to win it. I've only received rudimentary sculpting lessons from my beloved king, but he is still one of the greatest sculptors of all time. Sculptors. Since I can't help the shopping, I would like to uh, contribute when my strengths are of use. That'd be great, thanks. Now, what should we use for a motif? Well, it's gotta be something Sugoi enough to win the contest. Maybe there's one kind of mall in particular that Juz has a fondness for? Hmm. Let me help! Odysseus had no win. Where do you come from? 
I overheard your conversation, and I would like to offer you this item I purchased from here earlier today. Hmm, it reminds me so much of my Trojan horse that I couldn't help but be taken by it. A plastic model robot. I mean, it's Kikoi and all, but how is it going to help us? I took a look at the other entries in this contest, and most of them are plastic model robots of this nature. So I suspect that this sort of thing may be what most appeals to this particular judge. I see. Well, if that is what an expert tactician like yourself thinks, then we would do well to heed your advice. So this is a plastic model. I was actually wondering about these. It is fascinating how their many modest parts combine to form one cohesive whole. If such a model would help us in the contest, then I'd like to try my hand at one. Would you mind if I... Not at all. Please, you're welcome to use it as you like. Mm. Thank you. That said, I've never made a plastic model before, so I'd like to have some materials I'm more familiar with on hand, too. Well, it looks like you can get some sample clay for free over in that arts and craft corner. Though they don't give you very much. Perfect. I won't need much clay, though that sample amount should suffice. Alright, let's get to work. Nani? What's with the bangy new outfit? Big bands. <laughs> These are my work clothes. You need to be careful when sculpting with blades, after all. Only 30 minutes to go until office submissions closed. Those of you who haven't submitted your entry yet may want to hurry up. Uh oh, did you hear that? We've only got 30 minutes. That should be enough. Alright everyone, please stand back a bit. I'm going to use my chisel. Oh, only her alone. Well, is that the same? Confusing myself. Number marks. Single end. Okay. Art, Buster, and P. Increased defense and guts. And restore HP and debuff. Hmm. All good. Yeah, defense up. I think good call on the defense. About okay? Oh, Never mind. マスターフィンチ。ザッキリが。この人との合流を。アフロディーテ Whoa, she used that huge chisel to take each part out of the runner simultaneously, and the edges are perfectly smooth. I'm guessing runners are the little connecting plastic parts. She's moving so fast I can't even tell what she's doing. 
You can see it coming together right before your eyes. There. Oh, I see. How's this? Huh? I thought she'd finished. Now she's cutting off more parts. Is that okay? You're putting your own personal spin on it? I don't know enough about Marlson. Do you have anything? Wait, it actually fits the source material great. How did you know that when you've never seen the series? Mm. This is what the model wanted. Model Whisperer? <laughs> Mind you, really? Wow, you're like a plastic model whisperer or something. <laughs> that should take care of the model. Now for the clay. She's molding the clay into a new shape. Oh, what an adorable little bird. It's so lifelike, I can almost hear it chirping. This does bring back memories. I used to practice my sculpting skills by making birds all the time. That's great and all, but we're almost out of time. Come on, let's hurry. Ding ding ding. Alright, it's time for the final entry. Ah, at least I don't make a safe for all, but <laughs> let's see where judges thinks of this incredibly plainly named robot and bird. Hmm? Oh, what the? This model, it's... It's moving? The floor she made to that robot were perfect enough on its own. Their own. But she outfitted with moving parts too? That's the most hardcore modeling I've ever seen. And it's not just moving aimlessly. I think it's actually telling the story. A battle-weary military robot meets a small bird in the woods for a brief but heartfelt moment before going their separate ways. Just look at the way the birds pose on the robot's shoulder. You can practically feel the drama. Ooh, I can almost see the credits rolling. Here's a touching musical score. It's making me tear up. Hey, you there, what kind of mechanism did you use for this? Mechanism? What else? Love. <laughs> Critical hit. So deep. It's so simple, but so deep. Right, of course. You can never make something as masterful as this without real love. We have a winner! <laughs> you did it, Galatia. Congratulations. I mean, that was super impressive. But I still want to know how you got to move like that. King Pygmalion once gave me life by sculpting me with incredible love. The fact is, love can breathe life into anything, even inorganic matter. All I needed to make those malls were the techniques P King Pygmalion taught me, and this chisel imbued with the power of the gods. I, I see, that um, seems like a really incredible ability. Not at all. It ultimately comes down to the same power of love everyone possesses. As long as you have love in your heart, any of you could do the same thing. Maji really asleep? I wonder if that means that Ma Chan figures I've been making secret is going to start moving it on, on his own then. Kinda creepy. <laughs> and kind of. Oh, yes. Dolls, statues, and other inanimate objects can come to possess life as long as you truly love them. That's what happened to me, after all. And godly intervention. Oh, duh. She's just taking her situation and applying it to everything berserker style. That said, what I've done here is just a facsimile. I suspect it's very close to what you call familiars. I can't give life to anything sizable, and nothing I can bring to life can speak or think for itself. 
Small creatures like this bird are the best I can do. I see. Which gets back to why you are doing this, does it not? Yes, my skills are no match for my kings. So this is all I can do with them. The only one capable of giving life to all the many dolls walking around Akihabara. Dolls that seem to think and act on their own, as well as experience emotions, is King Pygmalion. I'm certain that only his boundless love and God-recognized talent could have accomplished something like this. At least, that is what I think. So that's why you guessed he's the King of Figures. Hmm, makes sense to me. Okay, then let's keep buying all the things so we can get meet the King of Figures as Imasugu as possible. Oh, by the way, how come the model and clay bird you made aren't moving anymore? Because I made them in a hurry. Sadly, it seems their lives were fleeting. Hmm, now what should I do with them? If I had a workshop here, I would leave them there. Actually, would it be alright if I added the plastic model to my collection? It looks even better like this than it does on the box. Yes, of course. These materials belong to you anyway. That just leaves the bird. Well, if you don't mind, may I have it? Are you sure? Really, it's just an ordinary bird. I don't believe it has any artistic value. It's not ordinary at all. I think it's really cute. As for value, well... I feel like it is a physical representation of everything that happened today. Barely anything's happened. It'll be a memento of how we met. I see. Thank you. I disagree with your appraisal of its value, but I'm glad you're willing to give it a good home. There. I wonder if Voyager will like it too. We'll have to show it to him sometime. At any rate, we now have a great deal more points than we did before. Well done, Galatea. Now let us keep this up until we are all high-level wishmen. Kept a bit too cooly there. <laughs> Alright then. Part next. Meanwhile... Oh, they got takoyaki here. It's got takoyaki paisen. For real? I think we just finished those crypts like five minutes ago. That doesn't count. Everyone knows there's always room for dessert, even if you just had some. I don't think it works that way, but fine, what ifs. Man, this place is great. It's even livelier here than it is at Kiyo Mizudera on Festival Day. And these anime songs they're blasting on the loudspeakers aren't half bad either. Either. Plus, it's really in a real fun change of pace, walking around now we pick out for our new gal pals. Ah, are you sure you want to eat that in one bite? My serpentine infrared sensing picked organs are telling me those are really, really hot. Huh? Gah, you're right! It's scalding! <sighs> Here, have some water. Is that really hot? Ew, thanks. I was not expecting these to be so hot. And here I thought I was used to heat from all the piping hot rice I used to have in Yamatai Koko. Man, the future's amazing. Takoyoki are good civilization. Between them in one bite is bad civilization. And that must be destroyed. Oh, you come out half. Even the octopus inside. Here, let me thank you by giving you a bite. Say, uh... Uh... But you know, some real nice civilization about chowing down at Takoyaki when it's burning hot too. It's a tough call. Yes it is. It can be very difficult to tell good civilization apart. Bad. 
I'm still not sure where I come down on Akihabara. I'm guessing maybe Rama is supposed to be there, apart from bad. Takayoshi's delicious and all, but it's always like a real pain to check your teeth for seaweed flakes after. I've been eating enough takoyaki to know myself. Say, how come Arasaki isn't here? Didn't you invite her? Karochi? Of course I did. I even told her it'd be the perfect place to show off her new spirit origin with the sailor uniform. <laughs> Summer. But I, I couldn't possibly. I am. Um, I didn't intend for this app to be cosplay, but I know how that's how others may perceive it. Akihabara, with the exception of special events, cosplay is prohibited. While I can understand that you may not be aware of that. Since many people today are under the mistaken impression that Akihabara is still a cosplay friendly town, that's neither here nor there. And speaking as one of the master servants, I believe it behooves us to conduct ourselves with elegance and dignity at all times. Not to mention, they have no place for taking such an event. So please, go enjoy yourselves and don't worry about. Oof, mouthful. <laughs> In case I talk too quickly, here. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Or something like that. Huh, so it's like, what about my outfit? Does that count as cosplay? Hey, I tried, but when Karuchi gets in one of her serious moods, hang it up, show's over. Although, who knows, maybe she found her way here in the end? Behind her, a sooner smile, Mangiko knew for certain that no one who loves stories as much as Karuchi could possibly stay away from a place like this. Huh? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't believe we end up in the same crowd. And just when my ties and college like this happen to stick out for the first time in a while, too. I always find that just commentary funny. <laughs> Everything okay? Ah, uh, it just occurred to me, it might be hard to buy certain kinds of books when we're friends is all. Anyway, as long as everyone's having fun, it's all that matters. So let's just make the most of this trip, yeah? Whoa, there's a grill on that curvy restaurant sign. Is that the cook or something? You know, for someone who's like, you know, for their writing stuff, it seems like you care way more about food. <laughs> To eat is to live. That's all I can say. <laughs> Alright then. The rest of this will probably just be... Um, mainly... Floors, so... If you're not gonna watch that... So long, and thank you for watching it. If you are, enjoy!
いいだろうクールに決めるさそらエネルギー見てるパイレーツって頼む油断がしない拙者はしますこいつ守ってみせるぞ戦闘準備鉄と火薬は海賊のローマンバスターバスターもうちょっとバスターおいーアンタルベンジェどうやら貴殿は気づいていないのかなすでに包囲されていることにブラックダーティーパーティーハウリングいい結果だよマスター悪いことといえば汗をかいてしまったことだけかな進ませていただくまったく仕方のないお守りいたしますこれはどうだ今こそ進化させましょうすべ<笑>てのノーズ出陣の時だセイントいけ我らアルゴノーツアストラプステアルゴーホーグ起動すべて塞げ我がカイムレッドエンドアガートラム貴様たちもよくやったもちろん一番活躍したのは私だからそ,うその力をそうかお我が剣の栄誉にかけて。我が剣が訴え何時こそはリースアスカロン良いですよ<笑>かけろメリアおっともう終わりですか
よーし行くぞーえー、えー、えー、えー、えーえー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、準備ですねかしこまりです私は世界を動かせずけれど世界は私を鈍らせるひどいわレーブアンソレイへ遅いな証しを示す仕掛け時と見たがいかにまどろの死へ私は撃たれここが承知危険つばめ返し<笑>見せどころよな承知、ええええ、遅いな外貨はない外貨はないのだ一掘り一掘り着実に。治療法がさて派手にやられますかね、はあ、足,足りない足りない<笑>この程度がせいぜいだ行くぜてめえの授業自得だ島に死ねベルフアベスタなかなか面白い症状だった
では、本日の戦闘を始めましょう。冷血をもって終わらせましょう炸裂するは企画に一時必要な犠牲でしたまた勝利ですなところで敗北者の方々今のお気持ちを聞かせていただきたい